Edutainment Studios welcomes you to Multiple Myeloma Treatment Guide. This module is part three of a four-part series on multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a cancer that forms in a type of white blood cell called a plasma cell. Plasma cells help you fight infections by making antibodies that recognize and attack germs. Multiple myeloma causes cancer cells to accumulate in the bone marrow, where they crowd out healthy blood cells. Rather than produce helpful antibodies, the cancer cells produce abnormal proteins that can cause kidney problems. Treatment for multiple myeloma is not always necessary. If you are not experiencing signs or symptoms, you may not require treatment. If signs and symptoms develop, there are a number of treatments that can help control your multiple myeloma. In this course, the objective is to help you know options for treating multiple myeloma and what are the side effects of multiple myeloma? There is no single treatment that is recommended for every patient with multiple myeloma. The doctor will take several factors into consideration to develop a treatment plan that is right for you. Factors include your age and overall health, symptoms, stage and classification of your cancer, results of your lab tests, personal goals and preferences, and whether or not you have tried other treatments in the past. The treatment will work to kill myeloma cells and prevent new cancer cells from forming. It can also ease symptoms or complications you may be having. The doctor will recommend a combination of medicines and treatments. Targeted therapies are a type of therapy that works directly on the cancer's genes or proteins to stop it from growing. Targeted therapies block the cancer from spreading while managing not to harm any healthy cells. Some of these medications are only approved for patients who have unsuccessfully tried other treatments, their treatment stopped working, or cases where myeloma had returned. Types include immunomodulatory drugs and proteasome inhibitors. Immunomodulatory drugs work with the immune system by stopping the growth of myeloma cells in the bone marrow. They also boost the immune system cells to attack cancer cells. Proteasome inhibitors work by stopping a process in the cells that breaks down proteins that are needed to keep cancer cells from dividing. These medicines are usually prescribed in combinations but can also be taken alongside chemotherapy. Monoclonal antibodies are a type of immunotherapy. Antibodies are usually made by the immune system. This type of medication uses man-made antibodies that are designed to attack a specific target, like a part of a myeloma cancer cell. Chemotherapy works by destroying and stopping cancer cells from growing and dividing. It can also be combined with other treatments. Corticosteroids work by decreasing inflammation. They also increase the effectiveness of other myeloma medicines and are usually prescribed as part of a combination. Stem cell transplant is a procedure used to kill unhealthy cells in the bone marrow and replace them with healthy stem cells that grow new bone marrow. You will usually have chemotherapy or radiation to destroy as many cancer cells as possible before the transplant. These can all be combined in different ways. When one medication or combination stops working, the doctor can change the treatment to help you stay healthy. The doctor may also prescribe additional treatments to help ease your symptoms. In addition to killing myeloma cells, your treatment plan will most likely include treatments to help relieve the complications caused by cancer cells. This kind of treatment is often called palliative care. After your initial treatment plan has been completed, you will need follow-up testing to find out if the treatment is working as expected. The doctor will look at things like the level of M protein in your blood, the size and number of bone lesions, and the number of plasma cells in your bone marrow. The results will show if the treatment worked completely, worked partially, or did not work at all. The doctor can use the results to make a recommendation for how to continue. Follow-up care is extremely important because this cancer rarely goes away completely. Most patients will need some kind of care for the rest of their lives the doctor may suggest observation or maintenance treatment. Observation is when the doctor continues to monitor your cancer and orders tests to watch for signs of cancer growth. Maintenance treatment means that you will continue treatment, sometimes at lower doses, and work with the doctor to monitor the cancer. If a treatment stops working, the doctor can change to a different medicine before your cancer has a chance to grow out of control. 
the treatment options for multiple myeloma have improved drastically. In fact, the average survival time has nearly tripled, and many new treatments are expected to become available soon. The side effects you experience will depend on the type of treatments you have. If you have chemotherapy or radiation, there are side effects specific to those treatments, like hair loss or skin changes. Common side effects for myeloma treatments are nausea or vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, fatigue, nerve damage, and or pain. Ask your doctor to explain all of the side effects that are possible for your treatment. Some side effects are common and go away, while others can be more rare and life-threatening. When it comes to managing side effects, remember to work with your doctor to help relieve your side effects. Your doctor may be able to change your treatment, try a different dose, or prescribe medicine to help. Get medical treatment immediately if you think you might have a serious side effect, like dehydration. Do not stop your treatment or suffer in silence. Tell your doctor about everything you are experiencing. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for Part 3 of this four-part series on multiple myeloma, and come back for Part 4.